Hey guys, it's Skater Bite. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a collaboration featuring the one, the only, Mr. It's a Trap Production. Let's give it up. Thank you, Gator Bite. It is such an honor to be here and to be part of this collaboration. And uh, the first thing I would like to do is... Ah! Come here, you. You're not doing anything today. I'm going to be in charge now. Now, everybody, excuse that interruption there for a second. We're going to get on to the real business at hand with me. Dale Gribble. Don't worry, that trap guy is safe for the moment. Got him nice and tied up right here in his chair. And until I'm done doing my job, that's exactly where he's gonna stay. Now, don't question anything that happens. Just go along with it. And once again, I shall introduce myself. Hello, everybody. My name's Dale Gribble, and I'm going to be reading all these responses and comments on Gator Bites videos. I hope you have fun listening, because I'm going to have fun recording. So here we go. This one comes from Lee Chen Lee 17, and they say, Darn you, you made me hungry, you savage. Lol. This next comment comes from Amy G, and she says, I'm loving these opinion videos so much. Well, Amy G, I like them too. I'm a big fan of Gator Bite, and that's why I'm recording these videos. This comment comes from Half Blood Pixie, and she says, I don't even know any of this drama going around. Lol, I'm glad she wasn't like that Lori person and fake cry. She seemed very sorry, and it didn't sound fake. Thing is, though, people get offended by everything these days. They're so quick to judge and send hate. It's what it's like. You could be a saint, and someone will pick a fault within you. Sadly, these people are everywhere. If you're in the public eye... People will find all the faults and cause drama. Half-Blood Pixie, you speak the truth. And for that, we are all lucky to have you. This comment comes from DJ Crimmy, And he says, those fries look yummy. And then he makes the, the tongue sticking out emoji with like a little winky sign. Like a... Uh, like, like one of those, those grammar things, uh, where you like interrupt a thought and then you bring in another thought. It's crazy. It was probably started by some evil government conspiracy. DJ Crimmy, I think you're an evil government conspiracy. This next comment comes from Alex Fisher of Fisher Family Vlogs. And he says... Hashtag drama kills lol. What's, with, what's up with all these people and their lols? I don't even know what that stands for. Does it stand for looking other ways low? This next comment comes from Sunshine89, and they say, You watch Chopped? And they, they make the emojis of looking shocked, and, and but they're happy. So they, like, got two different competing emotions going on. And I know exactly what that's like. So I sentimentalize with what you're saying. This next comment comes from Craig Reckless on the video, A Day in My Life, Part 4 an actual day and they say walk my dogs and do my dishes please and uh, they're holding up some kind of gesture like the, the the rock and roll devil horns and some nerdy glasses 
And all I have to say, Mr. Craig Reckless, if that is your name, it is not Gator Bites' prerogative or her responsibility to do your obligations. I'm pretty sure that is a violation of the 17th and a half amendment, which says no American citizen will be forced to do another American citizen's prior obligations. Look it up. Know your rights, citizen. This time on the Pet Peeves tag video, got another comment from Alex Fisher of Fisher Family Vlogs, and he says, Rock, you Rick, not a Rick, lol. Alex Fisher, you continue to obfuscate and confuse and otherwise put me in a questionable line of thought that makes me question you, sir. I wonder if you're even a fan of Gator Bites videos. Oh, look here. We got another comment from this Alex Fisher guy, and he says, Not a stalker. L-M-A-O. Hopefully I'm not annoying you, just like making people laugh and showing the love and respect, you Rick. Why do you keep calling this fine lady a Rick? Rick is not a lady's name. So are you trying to say something about Gator Bite? Because that doesn't sound very cool coming from you, Mr. Fisher, sir, of Fisher Family Vlogs. Are you even a real YouTube channel? This next comment comes from Drunken One, and they say, I have to get one of those shower caps. I bet I would look great wearing it. And then they got a smiley emoji. And you know what, sir? Based upon your avatar picture, or whatever you call it on YouTube, I would have to agree. And on the video called I Was Scammed by a YouTuber, story time, we have a comment from It's a Trap Productions, and they say... I'm sorry to hear about what happened. That's really terrible. Well, thank you for stating the obvious, Mr. Trap, sir, of your productions. That doesn't even sound like a real company, and it sure don't sound like a real name. You better watch yourself, sir, because I don't think you even exist. Next, we have a comment from Ellie Wonder. And she says, wow, I also want to be there. I can carry your suitcase? Uh, Ellie, is that a question? Is that a declarative statement? You are confusing me as much as you are with your choice of emojis. You got a, a one with closed eyes, one with collapsed hands, and some other ones. I am so confused. I have no idea what all of these mean. What what kind of message are you really trying to convey? And our last comment comes from Donnie Shaw Show. Yeah, try saying that three times fast. Donnie Shaw Show, Donnie Shaw Show. Don Actually, that's kind of easy. Huh. Well, you don't win this round, sir. Anyway... His comment says, spill the tea, followed by an emoji that's grinning from ear to ear. And for some reason, Gator Bite hearted this comment. In fact, she hearted a lot of comments, which further confuses me and makes me think this is all one big government conspiracy to just confuse my internet usage. But let me tell you what. Spilling the tea is a perfectly fine euphemism for... I'll be right back. And that concludes my reading these comments on Gator Bites videos. Should she ever invite me back, I would be happy to oblige her 
and read more of these comments and offer my rather biting insight into what these people's true motivations are. I think you all are just crazy people, and I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much, and good night. I don't care what time it is where you are, just good night. Well, thanks, Dale. That was nice. Now, can you untie me, please? No.